Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Blaze with 1,717 rating versus uh, Thieves Z was taken with 1,357 rating, and uh, so it's gonna be another high-rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So Blaze is gonna go first. Sorry, for a second there, I didn't even think I pressed record. I don't know, they, they updated this thing, so it looks different. But the opening hand is Valor, Jet, Souls, Valor, Conquistador, so, I mean, he opened combo. Um, and then his opponent opened up Spinny, Ash, Roar, Desires, and then Exceed. Uh, so he's playing Salad, Pure Salad. Uh, he has Ash, which is enough to stop combo. He's going to Summon Souls, Send Illusion, uh, Effect for 1. Draws Scarlet. Obviously, you can't ash that, or he just normal summons any hand trap and gets comboed. He's gonna bring out Needle Fiber effect. He, if he ashes, Jet bring itself out, make Mech and Phantom Beast. So again, there's no point to ash that. He's gonna ash the effect of the Mech and Phantom Beast to summon uh, the O line from deck. He's gonna Link Cross, bring out tokens, and then Jet. Or not Jeff, sorry. Formula, one step ahead. Formula, draw. If he plays uh, two formula, he could bring out Jeff right here and go for another formula draw. Yeah, he's going to bring out Jeff. So I'm assuming that he's playing two formula. That's why he would do that. Yeah, he's going to get another draw. Draws Phantasma. Uh, he's going to make Blocker. And then... Go into the Mechum Phantom Beast, uses the effect, brings out some tokens, and then 001 brings itself out. Effect, um, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second, I didn't think he was ashing that. I was like, no, what are you doing? Uh, so now here he can either end on Herald or Zeta. Personally, I like ending on Zeta. But he's going for Herald. Some people don't even know, like, Zeta's a thing, and they're still playing, like, the Black Rose Moonlight. That card is so bad compared to Zeta. Like, so, 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 so bad. Like, do, do not play that card. Please. Good players will abuse it being on your field. And also, Zeta's just, like, a better interruption. And it's also the Nuts versus Striker. Uh, he's going to set Walk Arrow and Scarlet from deck. Ooh, never mind, never mind. He's gonna set Scarlet and nope, still walk arrow. Draws will. Normal summon spinny, link it away for Bailings, and then he's gonna use Exceed and Bailings. Chain Phantasma. And he draws Scarlet and Ogre. Puts back Scarlet. He's gonna have to use this Herald. Uh, if he's going to want to use Valor or Ogre, since they both have to go to Grave. And Harold obviously says any monster sent from the hand or deck to Grave is banished instead, so you can't pay cost for him. It means you can't use him. Uh, then he's going to use the on-field effect. He's going to chain Harold Negate, which I think is right. Desires, chain Ash. And he banished... Ooh, yep, banished Gazelle... And a jack. Or, yeah, only one jack. I've seen a lot of people playing, like, goes and match and stuff in the deck. Um, I don't know. I think, I think Salad Eldritch is still, like, better than Pure Salad. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I really do think it's better. He's gonna Will, Chain Ogre. And that's, yeah, it's gonna be game. Uh, so now going into game two. Also... I didn't just bring it up, but Ogre is weird to see in the main deck over something like Moonlit Chill. So, uh, Blaze, uh, if you're watching this, message me on Dueling Book. I want to know why you're playing Ogre over Moonlit. I'm, I'm actually curious. Uh, the opening hand is Tuning, Gamma, Nib, O Lion, Souls. Um, so, I mean, it definitely has, like, enough hand traps to stop Salad. And then he opened up the Exceed, Spinny, Roar, Goes, and Desires. 
normal summon spinning, link it off. Bailinx, Bailinx 1, XC2. So add Sanctuary, then XC effect on uh, on field. Uh, bring out another XC from deck. And then he's going to Desires. We'll see what he banishes and draws in a second. Draws Foxy and Gozen. Banish to Jack, Falco. Yeah, so I mean they played two Jacks, so pretty much he just banished Falco. That's the only thing he lost from that. It could matter that like the second Jack is gone because he is playing against a deck with Walkero, so they can crow Jack pretty easily. He's gonna make Dweller. Set goes in, set roar, and the main phase gets hit with nib. In attack position, and then he's gonna pass. He's gonna flip goes in, he draws gamma, so now he's locked in the lights. He's gonna tune in. Add jet, so he has no Eldlish. Okay. Alright, alright, so he, he, he milled. He milled good, he milled good. But he's gonna need Elblish to actually win this, I feel like, because Gozen is definitely a floodgate. He can't summon anything right now. He's gonna put this in defense, which is smart because if he leaves it in attack, like if he attacks over, his opponent can just then normal summon a salad and play. He puts it in defense, the token attacks over Nib, and now he's still locked in the lights. Draws Ash. So, like, while he can't push his game state any further because of Gozen, his opponent is also locked into lights. So he can't do anything because of Gozen. And now they're in this, like, awkward standoff where neither of them can play anything. Draws Lord. Yeah, he does do this. Uh, he can because it's a light. Um, he needs, he needs a spell and trap. Like, this hand has so many monsters. Also, people that are playing two O-Lion, you only need one. That There was two O-Lion being played at the beginning when, like, people were doing combo. But now you only need one because it's kind of like Garnet. You don't, you don't want to draw it, so why were you playing two? And then, like, your combo gets stopped most of the time, so O-Lion... Like, I don't know, you definitely just don't need two of them. Like, 100%. Switches to attack, attacks over token. Uh, the Nib token does have 2200 attacks, so it's not like he can crash into the walk arrow here. Just like when people back in the day played two Garnet in their deck, and they'd be like, oh, I don't want to draw one. Well, why are you playing two if you don't want to draw one? It's like, I don't know, it's weird. Draws Debug. Debug can be normal because it is a light. He's gonna use Foxy. Wait. He he can't. He's under a light. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's a 100% light, right? Yeah, what? It's it. Huh? Alright, alright, alright. Okay, 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 he fixed it. I was like, yo, no way. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna normal debug effect add gazelle. I'm actually really happy they fixed that, because that would have been, <laughs> that would have been ugly. That looked ugly while it happened. So he's going to attack over the walk arrow, and then attack over the nib. But now the walk arrow can do Scarlet. Even if he does out one of these... Alright, he, he didn't even draw a spell on trap. I was going to say, even if like he lords away goes in match, the other one will just be flipped when he tries comboing. Uh, special summon souls by sending illusion. Souls to draw one. 
Oh my goodness, he drew Nib. He hasn't drawn any spells and traps besides Tuning. Kind of nuts. He's gonna set Jet. And then Scarlet, set Walk Arrow. Um, I probably would've set Conquistador, because you don't want to go through all your Walk Arrows. They're kind of more important in this matchup than Conquistador. Uh, draws debug, so he, he drew another monster that he can normal summon. Uses the effect. These are really good draws from time from Thief Z over here. I was gonna call him Time Thief. Uh, add Spinny. Uh, debug attack over the set. Debug attack over souls, and then fairly certain it's 22 direct. Yeah, 22. And then. He's gonna pass. He's gonna need to draw something. Uh, he can use this if he wants to beat over a debug. Oh my, he just couldn't draw anything. It's been like five turns now. He hasn't drawn any spell and trap when he needed one. That's just unfortunate at that point. Uh, I still think he should have done this during the end phase because now this end phase he's not gonna be able to get this effect. Or I mean... Nah, I mean, yeah, I guess it doesn't even matter, because I'm dumb. Because this end phase, he's not going to be able to get the effect. Uh, I was thinking that he should have done it during the last end phase, in case if he drew a spell and trap, and he, like, Lord, get rid of Gozen, and then, like, he, like, Jet bring itself out, or normal summon O-Lion, or brings out a tuner somehow. Uh, then he gets hit with Gozen, and he could just send that to Grave to get Scarlet. So I guess it didn't matter, because he didn't draw a spell and trap, but I still think... Like, the other play would have been better, but it just didn't matter there. Uh, Drill Sign of Mining. Did he, or did he not, banish? Alright, so he still has a debug. This man can sign up Mining for the third debug. Alright, he's gonna have, yeah, he's gonna ash that. That would have been insane. This man would have played literally Lady Debug Beatdown. This is like one of the worst salad games I've ever seen. <laughs> this is so whack. Draws tuning. Hey, a spell and trap. So now he can Lord Sun Gozen. And now he can try comboing. And. So he's gonna jet get rid of O Lion. And then O Lion <laughs> goes in. Um. Yeah, you probably just chain Scarlet here to bring something. Ah, uh, nah, actually, never mind. Because then you can just crash into the Lord and play next turn. Alright, so he is going to chain Scarlet. He's going to Ash. That's interesting. I, I guess because he was going to bring out a Lord in defense. Yeah, that, all right, that makes sense. That makes sense. He draws Summon Limit. Uh, debug Attack over Jet. I think I would have saved it for like next turn after Jet died. But either way, he was going to get hit with Ash. But I don't, I don't know what was going through his mind. Uh, if you summon it in Attack, that's like really wrong. Because then they can just crash into it and then play. Uh, set summon limit. Draws cursed. Uh, activate cursed. Pay 8. Feel great. So he can actually get rid of this ghost and match. Add conquistador. Lord. Get rid of cursed. Add it to hand. And then use the effect to send. But. Nah. There's actually no point in doing that. Because. He doesn't even have combo now. So I guess you guys got to play Eldlish. Just Lord, get rid of Cursed, summon itself, Cursed effect to send. Yeah, you have to summon an attack. You have to start doing stuff. Uh, then he's gonna attack over Debug. So he didn't use Cursed effect to send. Interesting. Scarlet set walk arrow.
And then he's gonna pass, he draws Valor. I don't know, I feel like he definitely should have used Curse to affect the Sun there. Like, even if he just sent, like, a Lord. Because next turn, then he'd have access to Lord. Um. Yeah, he's gonna have to crash the token in the Lord if he wants to play. He's thinking. Switches it to defense. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I don't think that's right. I feel like you just got to start trying to play a little bit. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out how this goes. So, has 1,400 defense. Draws Conquistador. Switches Lord to Defense. Set Conquistador Pass. See, this is where I think, like, the other Lord in Grave could have been a little bit important. Like, even just having it there would be good. Uh, draws another Roar. Yeah, he has one set already. Draws Jet. This is such an ugly game. He draws circle. Passes. Draws ash. Man. Passes. Draws rage. Sets rage. Passes. Alright, sets rage and circle. Passes. Draws gamma. Man, these gamma draws are just atrocious. Draws Imperm. Man. Oh, man. Circle. He said it might be an illegal activation. Let me check first. What? Why wouldn't you just check then activate it? <laughs> yeah, like what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He's only playing one Jack, and he's playing Desires? Yo, you can't play one Jack in this format. Yo, Time, D Time Thief, you're watching this. <laughs> this card is so meta right now, it's actually insane. I have no idea how you're only playing one Jack Jaguar. That's actually crazy. Draws Driver, he's, I think, he, yeah, he drew every one of his side frame cards. Is this just going to be a deck out? There's no way. Rage, Popping Token. He waited so long to start playing. Like, now he's got to know there's, there's a lot of hand traps in his hand. Foxy bring himself out. Yo, do you guys see that? What is this? What is this little white stuff over the extra monster zone? Spinny bring itself out. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, good, it's gone. Makes Wolf. Activate Sanctuary, gets rid of Wolf for Wolf, Roar Effect, uh, God, this, why, why would you use Roar Effect? It's going to allow that to go through. Conquistador, he, he does have a Bailing Grave. He's gonna pop Gozen. And then drop Nib. 
He's going to chain circle. Which, uh, he did know that he had. Wolf effect. He's going to chain... Walk arrow. Uh, he doesn't have a lord on board now. Why is he thinking? He doesn't... Oh, I mean, he could summon limit. No, he couldn't. Nah, like what? What is he thinking on? This guy's just stalling over here. I'm gonna skip forward a little bit. Okay, so that was an illegal nib activation. I don't get why Gozen's back on board, though. It's so confusing. Yes, okay. So, he couldn't even drop nib. Hey, at least they caught it. In the, in the other video, the, the nib for four went through, and it completely changed the game. Why is he thinking so much? He has nothing to do. He can't roar this. Oh my god, he can't roar. What is he doing? Okay, alright. He said I suggest leading the reading the last part. <laughs> but like oh my goodness. How is he playing salad and doesn't know what salad cards do? Okay, I'm just going to skip forward because they're taking forever. Okay, so he's going to banish rage. Uh, activates will. Will effect. Brings out gazelle. Yo, this, uh, this salad player is killing my brain. <laughs> killing my brain. He's gonna get hit with Nib. He's gonna circle, keep Wolf safe. Yeah, this is actually crazy. How how do you only play one Jack? Oh, what? <laughs> and then like you you desires away the one Jack. How do you play Salad after you have no Jack? He's going to set Imperm, pass, draws Cosmic, uh, he doesn't have enough life points for that to be a good draw. Has 71, oh hold on, whoa, 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 okay, so he got rid of Conquistador to summon out Lord, and then Lord to attack over Wolf. Main phase 2, normal summon jet, um, summon limit is going to get flipped. Okay, he's going to make me, why? <laughs> Yo, oh my god, guys, I usually am not like this. I swear, if you're new to the channel, I'm usually not like this. But why? Why did he wait to flip summon limit? Why? If he has jet and lord on board, okay, look, 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 look. Jet has five. 100 attack. He has 300 life points. This token has oh, at least 2,500 attack for sure. I don't even know how much attack it has. At least 25. You just take it, attack chat, game. But now, Needle can tag out in the formula. What is he doing? What? Oh my goodness. Yo. Alright, Blaze is going to admit defeat there. But holy was that a game. That was like, not even sure how long that was. That had to be like a 20 minute game too or something. The solid player did, definitely did not deserve to win that. The opening hand is Falco, Will, Debug, Exceed, Valor, and then Nib. Whoa, Nib, Ash, Nib, called by Nib. <laughs> Sets called by Pass. There's three Nib. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I want to see him nib him three times. Debug effect, add gazelle. Link in the bailing, Spalinx 1, XC2. I don't think this card's even good in salad, to be honest. Like, at all. Like, it's, like it's a free rank 4, but... <laughs> I mean... Uh, how good is a rank 4, you know? Like, what does it actually do for you? It doesn't fix the problems of the deck. It, it just, I don't know. Not good. And then he's gonna make Dweller. End of main phase gets hit with Nib. And then he's gonna drop Gazelle. And then Gazelle Effect. Kind of surprised actually that he didn't ash that. Because he's just gonna send a monster now. And try to get his place further. Or he's gonna send Rage. Okay. I mean I guess he does have called by. He's gonna use Will Effect to bring out he's gonna try bringing out Bailings. Okay, he's gonna bring out Falco. Make Bailings. Falco effect on Gazelle. This is so interesting. Like this just plays into so much. So much. So Gazelle goes back to hand. Falco comes out. Links in the wolf. Uh, activate Sanctuary. Relink. And then activate wolf effect. Chain called by target wolf. So that way he doesn't have rage. And now his only interruption is Valor. Alright. Draws Imperm. So he doesn't really have anything. He has no Eldlish. In his Eldritch deck. R.I.P. Should be four. Just, ooh, I feel like if it was just 40 cards. He would have had it. I don't know. He's going to attack over the token. Uh, I mean. I guess it didn't matter. He normal summoned in main phase one. He's just going to normal in main phase two. Anyhow. Uh, makes needle. Uses effect. Gets hit with Valor. Sent in perm pass. Uh, now this can turn into formula, it can also turn into the metal, and metal can bring back ash, so that way he has multiple tuners on board. Uh, like a really, really good play is chain link 1 needle fiber, chain link 2 nib, you bring out metal, and then you get metal effect to bring out ash, and now you have like 3 monsters on board, and they have to out both of the tuners, so you combo next turn. Also like the metal doesn't miss timing, if you're wondering it's not worded like formula. Uh, he's going to normal Lady Debug, uses the effect, he's going to allow that to go through, add Spinny, um, alright, and then, he's going to Wolf Effect, I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like you imperm this, because then it also cuts off the Will, so now Will can't bring out Falco, and then Falco can't set Rage, so I feel like that cuts him off from Rage, but he's still going to have Roar? But, like, you have Nib, so, like, how scared are you of that? I don't think you really are. He's gonna make Transcode Talker, effect on Wolf. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna count the summons real quick. There was Debug, Transcode, Wolf, alright. So, this is the fourth summon, I believe. Oh my goodness, whoa! The parallel is so bad! <laughs> Oh, that's five summons. Effect, chain, nib. Hopefully he plays metal, and he can do metal right here, because it's such an insane play. I think it'll, like, it'll be, I don't think it, well, hold on, I can't talk. Hold up, give me half a second. Alright, I don't think it'll be game right away, but it'll be crazy. Um, he, no, 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 he doesn't get the effect. Does he? Wait. Nah, he does, because it's not in response to anything. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I capped, I capped. I still think for, uh, the metal would have been better there, to be honest. I'm just, I'm bad. But the, the metal could have brought out Ash, and then now he has to out, like, two big cards. And, like, Wolf can't attack over either. Um... 
He didn't summon Gazelle that turn, right? Nah, he didn't. He could have Spinny, then Gazelle. Falco back. He could Jack. He could have killed Formula. That's huge. Tuning at Ja. Mills Walkero. And Th Thief Z leaves the match. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna check something real quick. I just want to see if he, like, I'm fairly certain he didn't summon Gazelle last turn. Also, sorry about saying that I'd miss timing. I messed that up. It'd be like if Will was chain link one, he chain needle fiber. Bring this out as chain link two. It'd miss timing. But since this was chain link one, it it doesn't miss timing. Um. He didn't summon Gazelle last turn. Oh my, how do you have this much rating? Oh my goodness. I remember back in the day, bro, dueling network days. Oh my, you actually had the, like if you wanted to be a 1,333 rating, you actually had to be nice at the game, you know? Like that, like that, that was nice back in the day. Like he, like Spinny, Token, Summon Gazelle, Send Jack, Make Bailings, uh, Put put back something with Jack. Bring out Jack. Jack attack over formula for 300. He does piercing. <sighs> Could have Falcoed back the gazelle back the hand. Oh, I'm sorry guys. This this salad player is getting to me. He really is. I don't know. Pure salad is so boof and so whack and so bad in so many different ways and this card is a this card is terrible it's literally just a rank four like i don't know rank fours aren't that good this format like there's dweller and babuska i'm pretty sure that's all the deck plays some play the uh fire rank four too that like lets you draw and discard or summon from grave i forget its name but i don't know shout out shout out shout out the blaze for the dub though uh, and also shout out to, I think he sent this replay in, honestly I don't remember, but, uh, I don't know, I really, I don't know what to say, uh, I'm speechless, uh, well thank you for watching, uh, the DB Grinder, signing off, peace.